Hey there folks, welcome back to the white farm. Got a load of straw here on the trailer ready to go into the barn. One last spell that I don't think I can get up there on the top. We're down here on field six. I ended up picking up a little oat harvesting contract. So I've already uh, done the harvesting, taken the oats off. We ended up with some oats left over from the contract and we'll show you here we have 28, almost 2,900 liters of oats in the silo that we can use for something else and we've already put some straw in the barn off this field got it bailed up and loaded up so the straw I ended up having on my farm I ended up picking picking all that up and I got it in the barn all the hay is up and put in the barn so we're starting to accumulate quite a bit of materials uh, so I'm going to go ahead and run this little bell down <laughs> to the barn yeah can't can't get it on the trailer so we'll run it down and we'll come back and get the the truck i was able to get the harvester down here uh coming down this little side or back road i guess you could call it a little trail between the fields uh, i was able to fit with the header attached i uh, didn't run into crop or anything so it actually worked out pretty good uh, but i am going to have to get a, a trailer for that header at some point Chickens are starting to produce a little bit of eggs, and that's good. Now I did find out I can actually drive the truck and trailer up into this barn. And if I'm careful, I can swing around and get the bells to uh, drop off into the trigger. So that actually works out pretty good. I was thinking that I was going to have to unload them manually off the trailer into the barn but I can actually uh, get it in here so it works out pretty good I tell you it has taken a lot of time loading all these bills up manually all right we'll leave that there let me jump over here to the truck one thing I didn't realize with this truck is you can actually <laughs> raise the suspension or lower it pretty neat but it is hauling uh, the trailer full of bells no problem I haven't oh, oh what's going on there oh no oh one must have come out of the strap well I'll run down and get that here later but yeah it's doing really good with the trailer and the load very pleased with it. You can tell these were manually loaded because <laughs> it looks terrible. It looks terrible. So we'll show you how I have been able to get this up to the barn, hopefully. We can get up in there and not have any collision with the doors. I do have to swing pretty pretty wide around and then keep it between there's some posts. Oop, I messed up on that. Yep, I can make it. Yep, there we go. Just can't get between those two posts. But we do see we're starting to fill up the barn. And if we look over here, we have uh, 70, 78 bells in the barn now. So that is really good. Value wise, I don't know that it's worth a whole lot. 27000 at its peak price. So we're still not getting a whole lot in our barn that's worth very much. All right. So what else do we have to do? Not a whole lot. The hay's up. The straw is up. And so now we're, we're ready to, to start doing some field work. 
And if we look at the calendar, so next month we could plant wheat or barley. We could plant canola now or next month. Or if we wait around till next year, uh, we could do something else. So what I'm actually thinking about doing is next year doing some oats. And then we'll also replant the grass. And we'll, I'm going to try to replant the grass this year so that it starts growing just a little bit faster. So I'm going to run down, grab that one bell that I lost off the trailer. And then I'm going to sleep. We're going to go ahead and move on into September and go from there. All right, so I got the bell put in the barn, and before I sleep, I'm going to go ahead and collect the, the contract. It only made me 4400 bucks. Uh, we got some straw off of it, and we got a little bit of extra oats. So we did pretty well on the contract. It didn't take too long. Now, I did end up doing that contract off camera, mainly just to move, some, move this along, because we have been in August now for a number of series, and, and uh, well, we just need to... We need to get going and moving this thing forward. Uh, another thing is I did put a poll out and ask you guys to comment on whether or not we should buy the case that is in the used vehicle section. Now, I'm personally torn about it because it doesn't really fit the farm too much, but it is a very, very cheap tractor. We get 170 horsepower for $10,000. And all of you that voted or commented about it said to buy it. So I think what I'm going to do is pick it up. And I guess we'll just go with, we'll just go with the regular tires, I guess. Let's take the plate off and we're going to pick it up. It's going to cost 10,000 bucks. So it's going to eat into our profits, but I have an extra horsepower on the farm. I think we'll be handy, so let's go ahead and get that. Thank you all for commenting and let me know what you think. So we have that down at the, the dealership. We'll go pick it up later. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep now. I believe there's a sleep trigger here somewhere. Maybe it is inside. There we go. We'll just go to 8 o'clock. So the first thing I normally do when I wake up from a sleep cycle is check the used vehicle sale section just to see if anything has popped in and that I need to work towards during this game day. So nothing, nothing really is intriguing me there. And then so we'll also check and see what kind of contracts I have because I could use a little bit of Ooh, not that one. We can't, we don't have a spreader. Uh, we don't have anything to do any of those contracts. So what do we need today? So this field back here, the straw field, uh, we don't need to plow it. Uh, it actually does not need to be plowed, but it probably will need lime and fertilizer once we take our soil samples. We do have some strawberries ready that's good we need to get those into our jam production and the grass field over here we do need to put fertilizer out on it but we don't have a fertilizer spreader so i think what it what we need to do is it's probably time to go ahead and implement precision farming we can go ahead and do that uh, on the two fields so that we can start getting them getting them prepped for next year uh, we do need a either a cultivator or a direct seeder. I'm not sure what we'll get. And we're also going to need to put out some lime and fertilizer. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, save the game. I'll jump out. We're going to add precision farming in. And then uh, we'll probably go ahead and Get going with uh, some soil samples all right we're back and down here in the case 
and uh, let's go ahead and rent a soil sample machine and we'll get that down to the farm. Now I'm not going to buy this because I want to uh, just lease it. Uh, we only need it one time. I think what I'm going to do is put this on the front of the tractor. Oh, you know what? Well, let's see. We need a fertilizer spreader as well. So let me get one of those. Uh, let's see. We're going to get... I do have some really small ones on here that I think I may want to use. I don't want to put out lime with something that small. I don't think it'll work good. I like this one right here. It only holds 400 liters, but I think that'll work out really good. For the farm. I'm going to buy that there. And I don't know if we have any fertilizer at the farm. We'll have to check that. I think there is some fertilizer storage tanks, but I don't know that they have anything in them. And I'm not sure if I can purchase it. So I may have to run back down with the trailer and grab a couple pallets of fertilizer. We'll see when we get back up to the farm. So I'm down to 24,000 and I've been thinking about, I try not to take out a loan if I don't have to, but I may have to uh, at some point. Uh, I'm just really not sure. I think one thing that's, that is going to hurt me right now is only having the uh, two fields. I don't have a whole lot of land to do uh, anything with, so uh, that's one thing I do need to look into uh, going forward is trying to pick up another plot of land, I think, uh, just as soon as I can. That's going to be probably the most helpful thing uh, at this point is uh, picking up some more land. But we'll get there. Uh, we do have a few crops we can sell at some point in the future. It won't be a ton of money but it will be something. And hopefully if I can get another cutting of this grass, that'll help with making some silage. And that, that there will bring in a nice little chunk of change. All right, so I, I'm just gonna leave this spreader on the uh, tractor. We'll go ahead and take the, uh, the measurements with this tractor since it's already hooked up. And let's look here and see. There is a liquid fertilizer tank there. That is uh, seed storage. And let's see what's over here. Uh, that, I don't know what that is. Maybe for the pig food. So there is not, there's not a solid fertilizer tank. I'm not seeing one on the map here. Let's uh, zoom in a bit. See seeds. Liquid fertilizer, feed silo, I think that's for the chickens. Oh, maybe not. I'm not sure what that is. But either way, I don't have any fertilizer, so I am going to have to go back and pick that up. But that's okay. I can do that at another time. So let's go ahead and I want to get the grass field measurements taken. That way we can figure out what it needs. Maybe if we need some more nitrogen, we can get that put on the field so that it gives us a little bit better yield. Uh, I almost went with one of the uh, mod packs that have the the uh, soil sample machines that take a much bigger sample, but I didn't. Just went with the uh, normal base game one for this playthrough.
really won't take too much time on this field to take these samples. We'll have to take some more samples over on the uh, the other field as well. I'll probably do that off camera. Couldn't quite get to the edge there, so I'll scoot, <laughs> scoot up just a bit. I hate that sometimes you take a sample and you just don't get it all. And that should be the last one right there. Alright, we'll go ahead and send those off. Let's fold up the machine. And we'll pull it off the field. Our sample should come back pretty quick. And we'll take a look at that field and see what it needs. And while I am um, got the uh, machine hooked up, we'll go ahead and move it over here. I'll go ahead and unfold it. And we'll leave it right there. So one thing, one last thing that I want to get before we move any further forward is I need a way can I pick I can't pick up these strawberry pallets I don't think nope I cannot so we need to get a way to move them so I need some pallet forks so what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and run down to the shop I'll get some pallet forks and we know that I need some fertilizer so we'll grab that too and uh Try and get those strawberries moved over so we can start making some jam. I did hear the precision farming or the soil sample measurement ding, so that should be back. Let's go ahead and stop right here and take a look at what we need. All right, so this is a grass field. Uh, it is mostly sandy loam, some silty clay, and it needs. It needs some nitrogen and pH is actually pretty good on it so that's not too bad so that that'll work out so we'll get some more fertilizer on it and I think that field will be good uh, through the next cutting and then over the winter I'll get that thing plowed up because it does need to be plowed we'll get it plowed so that hopefully next year it'll yield even more And as of right now, I'm thinking to just leave that as a grass field right there beside the farm. I may change it into something that in the, at some point in the future, but right now I think it works just fine as a little grass field. Thought about passing that car there, but no, I <laughs> couldn't have done it. Wow, he totally ran that stop sign. All right, so real quick, we'll get some pallet forks for the little Massey, I think. I think that'll work out for me just fine. Uh, let's see. Let's go with red again, just so it matches. And then we're gonna buy one pallet of fertilizer. We may need more, uh, but for now, I'm just gonna go with the one. And so how are we gonna load this? I think we'll just use super, super strength down here at the shop. Uh, whoa. What was that? Alright. I, I kind of have the, uh, thought that you come down to the shop and buy something, they would be able to load it up for you. So, I don't really have much of a problem using the super strength down here at the shop. 
just to get the things loaded. Alright, we'll turn that off so I don't mess anything else up. Head right back down to the farm. Alright, we are almost back down here to the farm. Didn't take long at all. That's one thing I do like about this little map is... Uh, everything's kind of close. It just doesn't take a lot of time to, to run around to anywhere, so... Uh, it's kind of nice. I've actually enjoyed that. Uh, even hauling the oats from that last contract. Yeah, I'm pulling the uh, little barge box with the case. And it goes slow. 17 miles an hour, I think, is what it tops out. But it's okay. It's just kind of relaxing. Uh, I've, I've actually enjoyed that. So uh, it's kind of a, a different change of pace for me. Uh, and I've been enjoyed it. I really have. All right. So let's go ahead and grab the Massey. And we'll get this pallet fork off of here. And we'll go ahead and move the jelly over. Or <laughs> move the strawberries over. Start making some jelly. leave these right here for now they actually had a different uh, forklift picked out that I wanted to use for this and I still may get it at some point uh, but it we'll just use the pallet forks with the Massey for now see how that works out and I may get that other forklift I don't want to tell you what I was going to use just yet kind of keep it a surprise we may pick it up at some point, I thought it'd be neat to use on this playthrough. Maybe once we start getting a lot more pallets in, might might pick it up. Maybe I'll let let us get to the point where we buy it with some of the proceeds from some of the pallet work. Maybe maybe that'll be a good goal. So I think we deliver this over here. So yeah, there we go. And then I, I need to turn on the production for the jam. So activate that. So we should start making some strawberry jam. And that stuff sells pretty good if we go down here in the menu. Yeah, thousand bucks a pallet. I'll take that. All right, so we got this pallet left. Uh, the greenhouses are actually, let's see, they have, they're not making it too fast, but they'll have more coming along. Uh, so have plenty of water. So we'll get this pallet put into the production and I'll go ahead and load that pallet of fertilizer off the, off of the uh, trailer. And then next episode, we'll be ready to do a little bit of fertilizing and who knows what else. Uh, I'll go ahead and take the, soil samples for this field and get that done and we'll be able to move along we're trying to get going here it's been a kind of a slow start but we're, we're picking things up and moving along so anyhow thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did please be sure to click that thumbs up button uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and we'll see you back here next time